In dairy production, feeding and feed management is a major day-to-day -day activity that takes up a significant amount of smallholders' resources. In the same breath, feed constraints are among the key constraints that smallholder dairy farmers grapple with. High milk producing cows must feed on the right type of feed in the right quantity and at the right time. However, high population pressures have increased the competition for grains as food or livestock feed. Major shortages occur during the dry season and quality feed concentrates demand a price many cannot afford. Napier grass, which is used in Kenya as a primary feed for dairy farming, requires significant allocations of land. Increased use and production of sweet potato may provide a partial solution. Sweet potato vines offer more protein and dry matter per unit area and require less land than any other commonly used livestock feeds. For example, Kenyan researchers have found that 4 kilos of vines could replace 1 kilo of dairy concentrate. By putting sweet potato on their family's tables and now even in their animals' troughs, African farmers are able to have more climate-smart and affordable options for keeping everyone healthy and well-fed. Good livestock feeding demands more than determining what feeds are available. It also requires understanding all the types of feed resources that are available. Researchers from the Mazingira Center of the International Livestock Research Institute, ILRI, are helping build the capacity of smallholder dairy farmers to enable them to utilize available resources such as sweet potato for better feed management. Sweet potato vines and roots are prone to spoilage due to its high water content. However, there are special methods for creating sweet potato vine silage that allow for the preservation of the vines and roots within a silo. By preparing sweet potato vine silage, farmers can add value and shelf life to the vines. It consists of combining the chopped leaves, vines and roots of the sweet potato plant with up to 30% roots or grass. Silage preparation involves mixing chopped sweet potato leaves and vines with napier or other grass and wheat bran in correct proportions. This makes a highly nutritious home-cooked meal that can be substituted for commercial dairy meal products. A ferment starter such as molasses is added to aid the process of fermentation and increase the nutrient content of the meal. The fermentation process takes 30 days. Once prepared, the silage can last up to 400 days. The processed sweet potato residues offer an inexpensive and nutritious alternative feed ration for livestock that may increase economic returns. The roots are a good source of energy and the vines a source of protein. The key to preserving sweet potato silage is ensuring that it is not exposed to air and that all excess water is drained out. To accomplish this, farmers need to construct a special type of plastic tube silo using generally available material. One of these silos should hold about 350 to 500 kilograms chopped, well-compacted silage. Well-prepared sweet potato silage is bright or light yellow-green in color, has a strong smell similar to that of fermented milk and a firm texture. Poor quality silage tends to smell similar to rancid butter or ammonia. Sweet potato tube silage should be stored under shade, for example, in a store. Rodents like rats that could tear the tube need to be controlled. When feeding, open the tube and after removing the amount needed, remember to retie without trapping air inside. Not only will farmers have sufficient feeds for their cattle throughout, there will be increased productivity. Hence, more milk available for purchase in villages, increasing access to good nutrition for everyone. With increased milk production and profits, farmers can save and invest for the future, and they can now pay school fees for their children.